All right, working with Miss Sadell here. Lop, 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 lop. Almost, lop. Yes, I got camo in because he's helping desensitize, getting her used to horses, dogs running at her, moving objects <laughs> running at her. So. Um, I don't have him camo in here all the time, so I only allow him when I want him to be out here. Good girl, Del. Walk. Walk. Oh, we found a big hole there. Walk. 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 Okay, this is only day eight working. Day eight working with Adele. Yesterday she had it off. Shame on me, but we're doing good. We could transition a lot better. I want her nose in. There we go. Now we're getting an eye. Want your nose in. There you go. Okay. Go the other way. Good girl. And I'm doing this with just one hand, y'all, because my hand's over here and my other hand's recording. <laughs> good girl. Let's see if she'll look for us. Usually this direction, she has a hard time. Lope. Woo, there we go. Lope. Lope. Good girl. Beautiful lead change right there. And yes, I am working my horses in the mud. Why? It does help them pay attention with their feet so they're not lazy and stumbling around. Like they gotta really pick up those feet. This is how you get those solid, strong, all-around horses. Gaming, roping, show, whatever. You're getting them strong with those feet. Oh. Okay, got her all tacked up. Bozal on this. So, hey guys. <laughs> yep, this is what happens when you train in the winter and in the mud. <gasps> Woohoo! So, hey. Today's going to be third ride on Adele. So um, I've ridden her twice already with a, with a bit and she does not really like it. I don't think she really knows and understands the pressure of it yet. So let's go ahead and backtrack. Oh, I just, a clot of mud just fell on my eyelash. Let's go ahead and just backtrack. And um, we're going to go ahead and start with the Bozal and see if she feels a little more confident with that and comfortable and not as fussy. So then what I'll do is I'll add the bit into her mouth, just like I did with Pistolita, slowly start to graduate her. So from Bozal to bit with Bozal and more pressure on the reins on the Bozal and just a teensy wincy bit on the bit so she gets used to that. Okay, so let's go ahead and lunge her some more, get her to work, get that energy out and her mind focused, and then I'll get on. Yeehaw! Okay. All right, as I said, day eight, training, third ride. We got the bazaar on.
on them, just rub them down. Do some desensitizing work. Okay, third ride in and Adele is doing a lot better from the first ride, in my opinion. <laughs> um, I'm just kind of getting her a little circle here and then I'm gonna ask for the forward motion. And so she gets stuck in those circles and I'm trying to help her say, okay, you're doing great, now let's go forward. Now she's being a little more willing and I've just discovered I've come to realize that she's just very, she has no confidence. She needs to build up that confidence. So a lot of desensitizing, I'm going to start bringing scary objects out and um, get her mind focused, make her believe in herself. So then she is more trustworthy going forward. So right now, I'm not asking Adele to do much. I'm just asking her to go forward. I'm not doing a lot of circles just yet. Um, I just want her to understand walk means walk and also stop. So later on, I um, maybe the fourth ride, fifth ride, I'll start to do little circles like going around obstacles because then she'll understand going forward. And she's already good at circling, so... <laughs> No problem there, eh? This is already huge progress. I'm very happy where we are. And considering we've only had eight days of training and the third ride. all caked in mud. Damn it. Ah. It won't stop. What did you do, Adele? 